What's up, my friend? I love sisters, Fina D, coming to you all from Fina Team and News. You're going to hear me say some part in this video at the end of somewhere that I was trying to hurry up and upload this video before filing an interview. But of course, YouTube has a mind of its own, so you're getting it now. So just hold tight because I have a lot to say about that interview and I will be dropping that video probably tomorrow and we will have a few parts. And for the people talking about, oh, it was boring. It's an interview about her being hurt. What did y'all want, a hip hop concert? You wanted her laughing, an upbeat music or something? Her behavior, her, listen, what do I say at the end of every video? What is my saying? The God bless attitude, being positive at all times, seeing the good in every situation, and she's a Taurus like me. Class, class always win, okay? Going high always win. I am here for how Fallon carried herself. I am here for the entire interview. When she said, I am the boss. Mm. Okay, let me stop. Let's get into this. <laughs> Let's get into this video, okay? Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. You calling me out about not paying with the charity. Would you have said it to one of the white women? Most of you are aware that, well, if you're on social media. So when the Real Housewife of Atlanta season is on air, the ladies from the different franchises, they will come on Twitter and tweet, you know, and be it positive or negative, they will give their opinion about the topics that's going on, no problem. I have even seen the ladies from Married to Medicine and just from other franchise, they always have something to say. And that's the reason why sometimes you might be like, why does this person not like this person? It's because they have probably had an opinion and said something online that the other person did not agree with and so on and so forth. But they always, regardless if it's negative or positive, they always cross, you know, cross promote. They always promote each other. So now the Red House of Atlanta is no longer on the air, not as in they got canceled, as in the season, the recent season is over. So right now, I think it's the Real Housewife of Beverly Hills that's on right now. Now, Kyle, all right, Kyle Richards, is that her name? She's gonna be on the Bravo All-Stars show with Kenya. So people just felt like because she and Kyle are on that show together, people feel like, okay, they built some type of friendship and this is why she's out here defending her. Kenya was simply expressing and giving her opinion. Like every other cast member who has an opinion on the different franchise, like when they have their season going on. But because it's Kenya, of course, people will always make a big deal. So a few weeks ago, this clip was posted you calling me out about not paying with the charity would you have said it to one of the white women so when Garcelle asked that question this was the look on Kyle face he saw the video okay now Kenya Moore then tweeted I don't think Kyle she tagged Kyle calling Garcelle out about not paying her donation has anything to do with color it's not a black or white issue. It's a green issue. Let's not pull the race card every episode. They weren't cool at the time. Glad they talked it through. Hashtag Real Housewife of Beverly Hills. She didn't curse anybody. She didn't degrade anybody. She didn't call anyone out of their names. She just simply tweeted, this is my opinion. This is how I see it. Now, because they were on the topic of giving, she did then tweet this. Fun fact, Nene, that girl over there leaks, <laughs> never paid her $20,000, right? Her 20K donation. You know, Nene was supposed to pay years ago, she didn't. And then she tagged Portia. Portia never paid her 5,000 donation, all right? You know how Bravo was so quick to plaster on the screen that Portia donated a candy charity and Milo and this person and that person, even though Kenya Moore did 
donate. Okay? But Bravo being messy did not put on the screen that Kenya did donate. Kenya also, when she does things for people, she doesn't scream it on the mountaintop of what she did. That's just who she is. Kenya. Kenya? I don't care what nobody say about Kenya. I rock with Kenya more because Kenya is, she shows up when ain't no cameras around, when nobody is here to talk about it, when you don't put it on Instagram. My bassinet, my baby sleeps in right now. Kenya gave me, put together, personally delivered to my house. Like, that was never on TV. You'll never tweet about that. You know, Christmas morning, good morning, Merry Christmas, Sterling. Just little stuff, you know what I mean? I mean? Something she sees on Instagram or something she heard, she'll call me personally. Like, I appreciate who Kenya is, the fullness of Kenya. I think you guys see one part of Kenya that's great for TV. I think she's amazing for TV. But she is, you know, I can say that, Kenya is good people. She is well-intended. She has a good heart. Now, y'all know the other stuff. She petty. She the shade cream. She'll read you for filth. You know what I'm saying? She low blood. She do all of that stuff. I'm not talking about what y'all do know. I'm talking about what you don't know. And what you don't know is she's stand-up. And then Candy also says some slick things to make it look like Kenya didn't donate, okay? Then Candy went on her platform, YouTube platform, and sat there as her friend, business manager Dawan, also threw shade and hints at Kenya, just for Kenya to say that, yes, I did donate. I actually gave more than $5,000. Then, Ken, then Kenya comes on Candy, speak on it, and they talked about everything else but the donation and how shady Candy was for not being upfront and honest that her friend donated. Okay, and it could have been Kenya saying, listen, I give money. I don't want to talk about it. God knows my heart. Let's move on. But those are the shady things I be talking about. Right. But because this episode was about giving back, Kenya talking about other housewives not giving back was relevant. Once again, she stayed true to the topic. She didn't curse nobody out. She didn't call no one a B word. Nothing. It's just a conversation. It is not that deep. In her eyes but you already know Kenya Moore even breed and it's a problem and it makes the news okay so she did her tweets and she moved on now let's get back to Garcelle and Kyle all right I want to read some of the comments and social media reaction before Kenya Moore tweet I want you to see the comments and I want you to pay attention to most of the pictures that left these comments are black women. Now, I didn't pick these in a certain order. I just visited one of the Real Housewell of Atlanta fan pages that posted about this, and I just picked the comments, okay? So I'm not picking on these people. I'm not putting them on blast. This is just at random. And like I said in the last video, it is not that deep when I show people comments. So if you ever see your comments in my video, don't in my videos, don't ever be like, oh my God, there's a lady named Vina on YouTube. She posted my comment throwing shade. No, <laughs> it is not that deep, okay? The question that Garcelle asked was to Kyle, would she have asked you know, the white ladies about their donation in summary? So this person responded, yes, she would. Kyle is the one who likes to expose people. All right, hand clap emojis. She asked you because you were the only one who attended and didn't donate. Next time, don't be cheap. Okay. G, as in Garcelle, is wrong. Why use the race card? She wants black people to hate Kyle. Now we love her more. Okay, heart emoji. No, this ain't it, not Kyle. She would have said it if she was white or a purple people eater, all right? This other person, come on now, that is quite a reach. I don't see where race had anything to do with it, okay? This other person, don't think this is a race issue. Kyle is petty and messy with everyone, but it makes good TV. I've watched this series from day one and Kyle definitely would have, this wasn't about race, all right? Another black woman, nah, don't agree with this. Kyle would have asked, Kyle would have called any one of them out because that's how she is, LOL, especially during the reunion. This isn't a race issue, not with Kyle, okay? 
I love Garcelle. She is one of my favorite because there's no BS with her, but she shouldn't pull the race card. See, this is why I don't like when it's one person of a race placed in a group of other women because race tends to be the factor. It makes the show heavy and uncomfortable. I understand diversity as a black woman but everything is so race baiting now you can't simply just enjoy the show i'm gonna read a few more okay and then i'm gonna get to my point that i'm trying to make i agree with you you didn't pay we don't really rock and now it's the reunion so guess what where's my money <laughs> this is not a race issue exactly thank you someone gets it i'm calling anyone when the reunion hits lol absolutely it's not a race issue at all but garcelle is using the card because she got cut period Thank you, thank you. Someone gets it. Exactly. LOL. Anyone that thinks this is a moron. I totally agree. I'm black and I don't care what race a person is. I want the donation you promised or basically you lied, all right? Preach. Now that's a reach. Truly. Preach. You know it, girl. All right? You bleep right she would. If I host and invite you to a charitable event where all attendees are expected to to donate a check, you best believe I'm coming for everyone who didn't. And then use the race card because you got cut. Garcelle needs to get her life and needs to make sure she pays her bills. And just write that check and blame the tardiness on the liquor. Garcelle is reaching with this one. Sorry, not sorry. Her skin complexion has nothing to do with it. She is definitely from the fact that she didn't make a donation to charity. All right. I love the straightforward question from Garcelle, but she got called out because she didn't pay. Garcelle was a rookie last year, so she didn't know. The reunion is when you get called out. Also, Kyle is the type that if you come for her, she will fight back. Garcelle said Kyle wasn't welcoming to her and didn't pay her any attention. Well, Kyle paid attention to them checks. You got to pay your stuff no matter what race. All right. Uh, right. Those were mostly black people. I read that to say this. Miss me with the fake outrage BS to the disgusting comments towards Kenya Moore. People sending death threats to her daughter. People talking about let's start a petition to get her off this show i'm no longer supporting more hair care kenya moore doesn't like black women i mean it was and is a hot mess tagging andy get rid of kenya i don't agree with your antics on the show but i have supported you and have purchased a considerable amount of your hair care products for myself and given as gifts for women in my life since your line came out. With your recent petty tweet about Garcelle and Ebony, enough is enough. You make it hard to continue to support you. Your tweet was unnecessary in my opinion. Oh, but your opinion on her page, a complete stranger, is necessary. You see the hypocrisy? You can come here and write a whole book and leave a comment about the reason why you want to support her. Yet, she shouldn't have an opinion. You want us to respect everything you just wrote, which I'm going to continue reading in a minute. You see the hypocrisy? You want to have freedom of speech to come to this woman page and express yourself, but she's not allowed to tweet and express herself. Your tweet was unnecessary in my opinion. These women have not said anything against you that I have heard or read about. Maybe your pettiness is a result of jealousy. Regardless of your reason, I refuse to spend another 600 on your hair care products. My goal was to purchase more products for a brighter shower in September to give to all the attendees to include in gift bags. The race card was not played by Garcelle or Ebony. The race the person she mentioned name because I'm not here for that person at all. I would put out, sis, that's not a good look for you. If you're trying to be like, you know, the person name again, 
we get that Kaya is now your friend. Throwing Ebony and Garcelle under the bus was unwarranted. Disappointed. Being petty is not it. Not our best moment. What? You wrote all of this. Thank you for spending 600 bucks on a black woman hair care business. I'm sure Kenya appreciate you for that. If you sat there on your phone or computer and type your opinion on all of this, why then Kenya can have an opinion? How is her opinion throwing someone under the bus? Bravo and at Bravo Andy, how can we get Kenya kicked off the show? She is very negative and messy and she needs counseling for her mental illness. We are over her. Let's replace her with Shemia. Give her a peach. Oh, Shemia, the one that hooked up a married man with her best friend Portia. Yeah, okay. All right. It makes sense why you want Kenya kicked off. Yeah, Portia supporter. Just when I started following you again because I thought maybe I was misunderstanding who you were as a human, you go and tweet some itch about the drama between Kyle and Garcelle and try to negate the point that was being made. And it's just like girls stay out of itch, she meant, that don't have anything to do with you. You spent one season of an all-stars with Kyle now. All of a sudden, she man, you know her character. Man, come on, dude. I bet you think Ebony started a fight with Lona and Ramona too. Like, I don't get it. She's entitled to her opinion. What's the problem? Just how you are entitled to your opinion on her page, a complete stranger who doesn't know you, she's entitled to hers. She wasn't talking to you or the previous lady. So this has nothing to do with you either, but here you are giving your opinion. Do you see how y'all are a bunch of hypocrites? <laughs> and I'm laughing because it's not that deep <laughs> to me, but I'm just like, do you see it? Do you see the hypocrisy? Are people racist within a franchise? Absolutely. If you go to the episode I did on the whole Halloween costume, you will see all of the videos I included of people doing racist-ish, okay? Am I defending these white people who do racist, racist things? Absolutely not. So do not get it twisted, okay? Just because I rock with Kenya Moore doesn't mean I'm going to support everything she does. I'm just simply saying she stated her opinion. It is okay to agree to disagree it is fine but don't come over here with the i didn't see the race i don't know why she pulling the race card i don't know why she's doing this and it's all i don't know why but then kenya more tweeted about it now oh my god eddie kick kenya off the show give a peach to backstabbing chimia try bye now, remember the comments I read before were comments before Kenya tweets. So now the comments I'm about to read now are comments after her tweets. I agree. Even watching the episode, I was like, all right, I agree. But I do get where Garcelle was coming from when she broke it down to Kyle as to why she said that. Agree heart emoji okay i agree with kenya she uses the black word way too much on the show and i'm a black woman i can't with her well put kenya so tired of the race card over every little thing yes kenya is 100 if you are gonna make a donation make it don't wait to get called out on it and then pull the race card garcelle you tripping and have been tripping on Kyle. I can see the envy beaming of you and green is in your color. See, now you went too far, honey. All right, this comment, I think Kenya Moore is spot on well said. I agree, it was very bleep of Kyle to say it, but I also believe it had nothing to do with race. Kyle would have said that about anyone who she didn't like, all right? Thank God someone's seen reason. I love Kenya. She's always real and true to herself. I honestly felt like Kaya wanted to make her look bad for not paying and absolutely agree it was about money since these ladies like to flaunt it every chance they get. 
All right. Agree with Kenya. Thank you, Kenya. Agree. I agree. Exactly. Yes. Agreed. <laughs> okay. Agree. Agreed. Especially that is not at all how Kyle meant it. I think Garcelle was feeling that guilty conscience this person meant. Agree. She saved that info to throw at her when things got nasty. Can't stand Garcelle. She is cussing drama over nothing, trying to stay relevant. The one time I agree with Kenya. So, look. I'm going to end it here. I'm really trying to upload this video before Fowler's interview. I'm not saying Garcelle speaking her mind and then educating Kyle is wrong. Kyle also coming for her and calling her out about not paying. I'm not saying that is wrong either because the girls in the Red House of Atlanta, they do that all the time. All I'm saying is that as long as someone is not being hateful, not being disrespectful, not crossing any lines, People are entitled to their opinions and Kenya Moore shouldn't be crucified because she simply said, it's not race, it's about money. And Garcelle shouldn't be crucified because she said, it's about race, Kyle, <laughs> you know, shouldn't be crucified as well because she called her out. I'm just saying every, I understand everyone opinions, but the length that some of you, especially black women, go to when it comes to Kenya Moore, it is just disgusting at this point. I wish all of these ladies absolutely nothing but the best. Everyone are entitled to their own opinions, and that's that. And then here my final loves. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted, and I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.